everyone knows that the fundamental rheological parameters are stress and strain. In order to get the purest, most accurate measurements, you need to be able to measure stress and strain independently. Only the Aries G2 with separate transducer and motor is capable of these independent measurements. Some manufacturers would lead you to believe that their single head rheometer can do what an Aries G2 can do. It's physically impossible. Any single motor design, synchronous or asynchronous, has to apply some amount of torque to overcome the inertia and friction of this moving part. The same motor applies torque to the sample. The unavoidable consequences are constant corrections for friction and inertia and uncertainty in your data when corrections far exceed sample torque. They clearly state in this handbook, Rheometer designers aim to keep the amount of the instrument's internal friction and inertia effects of the rheometer as low as possible. And they continue on to say, since there is friction and inertia, these disturbances have to be corrected by the electronic controller. The superior design of the Aries G2 with its separate transducer and motor eliminate the need for motor friction and inertia corrections. Sure, it's a little bit more expensive, but worth every penny. I think our competitors would agree. Pure measurements, fewer corrections, better data. There's only one rheometer in the world capable of independent stress and strain measurements. It's the Aries G2. And it's the number one reason why it's the world's most powerful rheology platform. And by the way, TA is uniquely qualified to discuss the strengths and weaknesses of both designs because we manufacture both. The Aries G2 and the world's best-selling low inertia single head rheometers, the AR series. That's the TA difference.